Hello everyone, welcome to Cleese Backyard Woodworking. I'm David. In this video, we'll be making a simple cross cut sled for this table saw, this compact DeWalt table saw. I'll be using some uh, MDF for the base and red oak for the miter slot runner. And the rest will be some scrap woods or what I have here for the front and back supports. Uh, if you're new here or haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. I have some ideas on how I want this sled. So let's get to cutting the base and the runner slot. And I hope this video helps you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it uh, 20 inches by 16. So I'm just gonna cut it off with the uh, Craig cross cut first. And then I'll refine it on the table saw. And then I'll work on the uh, slot runner. All right, so now I got this all cut. I did it uh, 16 and 20 and three quarter. So now I'm gonna do the miter slots, the runners. I'm gonna do it out of the red oak. Got this piece of red oak right here. So I just need to cut it down. So I'm gonna cut it to 16. I got the runners cut. Now I'm gonna put these scrap uh, MDF pieces inside here to lift up the runners just a little bit. All right, just like that. So now I'm gonna put some wood glue and some CA glue. Then I'm gonna drop off the top. Let's lower the blade. And I need to make sure I want it a little bit longer on this, on the left side. Six and a half should be the center of the runner on this side. It's up to you, it's on your preferences. So I just want it like this. Okay, so to attach the runners, I'm going to put some wood glue and some CA glue and then lay this on top, let it dry, and then I'll flip it over and pre-drill with countersink holes and put in some screws and then we're going to add in the front and back front and back and i'll probably use the red oak because it's a hard sturdy wood so let's get that ca glue on let's make sure this is lined up all right let's lift this off Couple drops along the runner. All right. Let's put a quick accelerator on here. Okay. Line it up with the edge. Let's let that dry. All right, let's go ahead and countersink these holes and screw in some screws. Do some sanding on it. I sprayed some uh, sandpaper to this little block here. Let's see if I can get this. Let's try that out. Right here. All right, guys. I almost have it. It's a little bit more sanding. It should be smooth as can be. Alrighty. Let's 
slides nice and smooth. All right, so now let's get this front, front and back supports. Okay, so take the red oak, cut it down to inch and a half. It's pretty flat. So I'm gonna do two inch and a half on the front, just like that. Have an inch and a half thick here, and then I'll put a piece in the back here, maybe a two by four or something. So let me rip this down an inch and a half, and get this on the run, and get this on the board. Alright, let's glue up these two pieces together. Alright, so now I'm going to cut off the edge here with a bevel. So, let's try to get this at 45 degrees. Now have this Wixie digital angle gauge. So let's get this to zero. Right. Here we go. Show you guys that. All right, so we have 45 degrees. I'm going to cut up this pallet wood for the back support. Should work fine. All right, so I sanded down the back support. Just gotta cut off a little bit more. And then uh, pre-drill and screw this on. And do a one inch. Let's countersink the bottom here. Get a clamp for this. Ready? Alright guys, let's get this front support all straightened out and then attached to the table slide. So let's unclamp this. All right, so I did a little chamfer on the bottom here so the dust doesn't pile up. And now I'm just gonna straighten this up, have it square, and then I'm gonna put in one screw. Let's see if I can square it as much as I can. Put that into the quarter screw. end all right so now i'm gonna slowly raise up the blade and cut through here and then i'm gonna test it out and then secure this in place after everything is squared up
Okay, so I just did a square cut and I did it at three inches and it's all nice and even. So that's good, first try. So now I wanna do a bevel cut so I can try and make some boxes. So let's cut in that bevel cut. I'm gonna have to take this off and then angle the blade at 45 and then cut it through. Degrees. All right, let's put in a couple more screws down here. Let's put one up here, one right here. All right. So I'm going to add another little guard in the back here, just like that. Just going to go ahead and use some of this medium Starbond CA glue with the accelerator. And I'll just attach that right on there. Okay. All right. All right, so this is how the bevels came out. It's pretty good, just a little uneven on that piece. So the bevels came out really tight and good. So I'm just gonna finish this box up and I'll be right back. I'm gonna put a groove for a bottom and then I'm gonna cut a groove on the top so I can fit in a lid. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the box so far. The bevels and miters came out real nice. Just put a little pull on it. So uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, so the table saw sled works real great for bevels and straight cuts. If you have some wood paste, it will be great to put it on the runners to help it slide easier. So now for my next video, I'm gonna make a spline jig to put some splines in the corners. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to uh, be notified when that video will be come out and all my other videos. So I wanna say uh, thanks for watching. Hope this video helped you guys. You know, that'll be all for this. So uh, I'll catch you later.